Now that you have a web browser tool in place, we're pretty much ready to get started building the user form. And I'm just going to show one more thing before we get into the user form graphical user interface. For this project, I'm going to be using the Internet Explorer application object, not the web browser control that I previously talked about. And I just want to explain that whatever route you take, you're going to be able to use the code that I show in this tutorial, whether you're using the web browser control or the Internet Explorer application object. And here's where I wanted to give that demonstration. In the command button one, I had already developed this code for just navigating to a web page. I'm going to show you how this would work when we're using the web browser control. We can go to our user form, and I'm going to draw the. I'm going to first off, I'm going to drag up, drag down the command button. I'm going to draw the web browser control, and I'm just going to add another command button. I'm, all I did was use copy and paste. Just do the command button, place it over here, put command button two. With the Internet Explorer application, we have to call the object, we have to open it up, and then we set it to visible, and then we do the navigation. The web browser control is already on our user form. At all times, if I hit F5 or play, we see that our user form has the web browser control already here, this, this white box. And I don't have to call it, it's already there. But in command button 2, instead of where you have object IE, the name of the variable that you create, you'll be using the name of the web browser control. So I'm going to go back to my user form. If I click the web browser control, pay attention to your properties, you'll see that the name says web browser 1. That is the name of that control. If you don't see properties, just go to view and select the properties window. So instead of having to write all this code, where we call the the internet window all you're gonna do is write in web browser one dot navigate and this is gonna be the web page and then just hit F5 or play and I'm gonna just give you the demonstration so I can click command button 2 and we'll see on the actual user form that we have our web browser right here whereas going the internet explorer dot application object if I click command button 1 it opens up a brand new internet window. Again, this is probably going to be the more reliable way to go where you open up the internet window instead of actually having it on a user form. Again, it's going to be entirely up to you the route that you decide to take. But for this video, I'm going to be using the Internet Explorer the application object. The only reason I wanted to present this to you is to show you that the code will be almost the same, if anything, identical. Here, instead of just using object.e.navigate, it's web browser one that navigate and then the web page. So throughout this video as you see me create the Internet Explorer dot application object, just replace the variable name with web browser one or the name of your web browser control. For the most part, I'm always going to use object IE as the variable name and just again replace that with your web browser control name.